Hi, my name is Andrew Croft, and I'm going to go through a quick uh, little demonstration on how SimpleCart.js works. Uh, it's a JavaScript framework that's used to dis help design um, really the cart part of uh, an e-commerce site. Uh, they claim that you don't have to use any back-end coding, but I feel like I would definitely use PHP or something like that just to check things on the back-end. Um, you know, just because JavaScript doesn't have to do exactly what you intended to. It, it allows the client to obviously change things if they want to. Um, so we'll jump right in here. Uh, this is just a quick little demonstration of what the site actually can do. Um, you take a look at the home page here, uh, you get the different, you know, I've, I've used beach towels as an example, you get the different colors of each one. Um, you can change the sizes and add things to your cart which, you know, change up here. Um, as you add things, the cart updates automatically up here for you. And once you click on that, you get to the actual cart, and it shows you, um, you know, everything you you've got in your cart. It shows you a little thumbnail. Um, you head back home, and you know, I'm going to add a whole bunch of things to the cart here, just so you can see what it looks like once the cart gets closer to full. Um, so if we hop back over to the cart over here, you know, we have all these different items and you can see how they're all laid out. Uh, you can use the plus button on the quantity to add up a little bit. Uh, you can completely remove an item from your, from your cart. Um, if you subtract your quantity and go to zero, um, it'll just remove it from the list for you. It shows you your total down here. Uh, it shows you your total up in the cart in the top right and it stays there as you go through. Um, so that's just a really quick overview of what this is going to do. Uh, now we'll get a little bit into the code. Um, this is just a really basic um, how to set the thing up. Um, if you take a look here, uh, this is just very, very basic. It's just showing you the includes. Uh, the first thing you want to include is your jQuery. Um, Simple cart, it, you know, you use jQuery to do what it needs to do. Then you need to add the uh, simple cart JS file itself. Um, after that is the, we just called it theme.js, but that's that's for the specific demonstration that I'm working on here. Um, then inside this container is just where I'm going to put all my code for um, for my simple cart. Um, this file right here is the simple cart.js. It's I'm not going to get into everything in there. Uh, that's that's what you're including. Um, and again, that's based around jQuery, so some of the stuff in there is going to require jQuery. Um, this is a really simple, simple bare bones to get your uh, simple cart moving. Um, you include your simple cart here um, inside of that. I've showed how we, how we want to check out in the email address that we're going to use. Um, and that's really it. This is like the bare bones. Um, if you include this, uh, you'll be able to to get some really basic, basic functionality out of out of Simple Cart. Um, and if we head over uh, into our index file, you'll see it. It's it's blank to start here. Uh, there's nothing there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if we go back into our index here, um, we're going to add just some really basic. Um, items and this is a simple cart shelf item so we're gonna we're gonna paste this item right in here um, right there you can see I've, I've actually grayed out all the CSS so you can see what the styling looks like um, just straight out of the box um, then we'll show you how to play around with that and kind of customize it a little bit so if we take this shelf item right here, um, we paste it into our container. Uh, you get the class of, of simple cart with uh, shelf item. Um, and then inside that div is the is telling simple cart that this entire thing is our, our item. Uh, we've got our item name here uh, with a link inside that you can link to um, you know, whatever product you're using. Uh, below that you've got the quantity, the price, and um, just a little, a little link to add that to your cart. 
uh, once you get this added on here, uh, you can actually see that it adds it. Um, and it's just super, super simple and basic uh, where it's at right now. Um, next, we're going to add, actually add the cart so that you can, you know, actually be placing your items into the cart. Um, I mean, right now, if you do anything, you're not going to see any response from what you're doing. You just you have the item up there. It, it's not doing anything. Uh, when you add to cart, you're not going to see anything happen. So this code right here is uh, for a cart. Um, you, you can see the entire, everything that's in there is going to be part of the link. Um, get the link to the HTML file that's going to go to, uh, you get the div class of cart, which uh, is one that I created myself. It's just for styling purposes, which won't matter until we actually have the styling. And the class of simple cart quantity, um, just by adding that simple cart, it's automatically going to show you the quantity of what's in the cart. And underneath that, you get the simple cart total. Um, again, by adding that class there, uh, it's automatically going to show you the total for for your cart. Um, when you refresh this, you can see that there's there's your link to the cart, uh, which we don't have set up yet. Um, so the last thing we're going to do here is we're just going to add. You, know, you can see if you click it, it starts to add up, um, add up your quantity and your total there. And we're just gonna quickly add a little little home button link there so we can go back. Um, and we want to be able to show the items in the cart. So once you've added that, you know we want to have a page um, for the cart um, and show those items. So that when we click on cart, um, go to the page. It actually has something to show us right now. There's nothing there. Um, it still so it shows us the quantity and, and how much how much we've racked up so far, but you don't actually see anything in there. So the HTML file is exactly the same as the index file to start. Uh, really simple. All the includes, um, the links at the top, um, but there's nothing underneath it at this point. So. What we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, just add in a couple lines of code that will add in everything we need it to have. Um, and this will be it for this HTML file. It's extremely simple. Um, having that div class of simple cart items, that just immediately on its own plops all the items that are in our cart right there. Uh, we don't have to do anything else with this page. Um, underneath that, I that cart total is... Uh, you know, my own class that I created is, again, just for styling purposes. And underneath that, you've got the div class of simple cart uh, underline total. Um, that's just going to show it what the total is for our cart. So we can see how much um, everything's adding up to be at that point. So everything's laid out uh, vertically right now. Um, the default for simple cart is to, to stack things on top of each other like this. Um, I'll show you in a minute how to fix this in the JavaScript, um, but I wanted to just show you out of the box, this is exactly what it does. Um, and we'll show you how to get around some of the defaults and how to get things to actually work. You know, be a little bit more custom to, to what you want it to do. So the next is editing, editing the cart layout. So like I just said, um, this is gonna add a little bit of uh, customization to what we're doing. Um, instead of stacking things vertically, we're going to have things kind of laid out like a table. Um, so this is a really, really simple step. Um, this is the first time we're really touching in the JavaScript and changing anything. Uh, what we added before was really just bare bones, um, but this will be a little bit, again, it's a little bit more of a customized, um, customized layout of uh, as opposed to using the defaults. So what we're adding right here is just a cart style. Uh, it's a cart style table. Uh, the default is cart style div. So by changing that to table, you'll see um, that this is going to really just change the layout. Um, plops in like a table. You got the headers. You got the 
an item that's in the cart um, laid out underneath it. So it's again really basic. Um, next, we're gonna we're gonna kind of tie everything together. So um, gonna go into a little bit more customization at this point. Um, going to show you, uh, you know, kind of how to how to take everything we've done so far and, and again tie it all together. Um, so right here we're looking at the index.html. Um, this is what we've added for our div uh, previously and we're just going to add a little bit to that. So this is literally just a copy of what was there before with a couple of things added in, including this image tag um, with the class um, of item thumb there. Um, adding this class of item thumb is going to make it so that when we add this uh, we add this to our cart that, that is going to actually be used as our thumbnail in the cart and then down here is simply just a, a selection for a size so this is going to allow us to select a size and the item size right there is telling simple cart um, that this is the size of the item so we're going to just keep this uh, new updated version of this teal beach towel, delete the, uh, the old version. And then we're just going to go in here, we're going to um, add in a bunch of different colors. So we had the teal on there and we're going to add uh, purple and red and blue. Um, they're just exact copies of this, we just changed uh, you know the names of them and the images. They're going to show up for them. Um, so once we've pasted that in here and we refresh this, there's still no styling done. So you know, the image shows up at an exact size and it's all still stacked on top of each other and, you know, still not laid out in any way, shape, or form. There's no CSS on this still. Um, the CSS has still been disabled. Uh, so we'll go in and we'll enable the CSS. Um, and, and just kind of make everything look a little bit prettier than it previously had. If this thing ever loads. 